We're actually transplants from New York. So in coming to Miami to live, there was a lot of things we had to restart and the medical stuff was one of them. And uh, once we found the leaflet, we had already gone through two or three different offices that were not appealing at all. One of the main reasons is because um, I have a son who's autistic and at the time was very hypersensitive to pain. And that was a factor in choosing a dentist that would be mindful of that and uh, handle it appropriately. So the first time we came, we explained everything and Doc and Umberto, his assistant, were very careful with Grayson. They were very um, caring. They spoke to him like his opinion mattered. They made him feel like he was important. And for that reason, after the first visit, we were, okay, this I think is, is going to work. And Dr. Greasy is very, very uh, detailed. He's uh, very explanatory. He doesn't require for you to do anything simply because he says you should. However, he makes it a point to let you know when it's medically in your best interest. He gives you facts, he gives you things to research so that you're aware of what he's doing and it's not just about you know, doing work for the pay at the end of the period, it's for your benefit. And that's what's been the most important. I have a, like a phobia for needles. You know, I was, when I was much younger, they had to have three doctors hold me down just to put a needle to ask her it's true. Um, so when Dr. when Dr. Greenstein was get, was helping, he he did not he had this way of saying, okay, so I'm gonna put a needle in. For some reason, I did not freak out or anything. I just let him put a needle in my mouth, which is probably the scariest place to put it. So, so yeah, I actually trust him a lot. And she gave me that look after saying, if he can put a needle in your mouth, you better not be fussy about anything else. 